Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin. If you meet me for the first time, and today we are talking about umbrellas, or rather this umbrella in particular, because I think it rocks. That's what we're talking about today. Coming up. All right, very quickly, first of all, you see it's portable. I uh, got it from Amazon. I already used it a couple of times and uh, I just want to talk to you about it. It's a $49 umbrella. Very big, it's probably the largest you can find out there. And um, along with the Godox VL150, it is awesome because um, the goddess has the the room for the umbrella to sneak in. Let's pair it with this guy. Let's take this guy off. And uh, are you ready for this? We need some space. This is really large. I was going to do it outdoors, but now when you when you take this off, this thing goes high. I'm using the VMAT battery, so watch this. Um, so many. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Now, it might scare you a little bit, but I'll tell you why you need it. Oh, my bad. Supposed to take this one off. <laughs> This is 1%, 2%. So let's kill the aperture. Okay. Let's see. I think we are already good at 27%. Let's see. I hope the monitor is not deceiving me. Okay, let's stay on 35. Hopefully this is good enough from my view. Yeah, so you see what it does. Now, if if it's, if we are in a space where we can have a full shot of me, of course we can, by taking the camera backwards and then, or using a wider lens, you see that this light can light the entire body. You know, if you want to, if you're taking a foot, um, video of a model or a music video or something that you require the full view this is a good way to go because it lights up the individual from head to toe. And then this is just 35% uh, of light. So if we go on, if we go on and increase, that's 40, this is 48. You see the picture coming up a little bit more. Let me use my, let me bring my, Is this making any difference? Okay, let me turn it up. Okay, so we have a um, um, feel light coming from that. All right, so yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, but the bottom line is, this is for the nine box. It is cheap, it is affordable. It does a very good job brightening up, you know, and along with the Godox particularly, is what I would recommend it. Uh, if you're just trying to do for YouTube studios, uh, there are smaller umbrellas, I'll probably leave the link in the description. Smaller umbrellas like this will give you a very, very powerful, lovely um, feel for your picture. Um, you won't be needing this, but if you do go out, if you use it for your studio and then you still go out and do some commercial work and you will need light every now and then, 
this is a good thing to have. Um, I shot a documentary some days ago, um, and I'm still shooting the documentary, by the way, because I knew on that particular scene we have very had very limited time to set up and record before every other person comes in. Um, I had to use this. I didn't take the 120D um, uh, aperture. I didn't take it because that's standing on a C stand, and the C stand is huge. It's huge, you know, and heavy. And I, but instead, I got a tripod. Um, I, I got a uh, light, a new light stand, and I'll tell you about the light stand in a second too, because I think it matches with this one. This I've never seen it before. I think it is new, um, but it's it has the build quality of a C stand. It's not a C stand, but it, it, in my opinion, it rocks better than the system, and I'll and I'll show you clips, and I'll talk to you once I take this thing up. You could have a VMAT battery, or you could do direct power. That's fine. But the bottom line is, you just have these things already in your bags. You bring them out. You set them up within seconds or minutes, rather. You set them up within minutes. Put this one on, and when you're done, you hang your umbrella <laughs> on your shoulder, and you're done. It's easy to go. The quality of the light from this is really lovely and I think uh, you all will like it. I heard about this for the first time. I, I always thought that uh, umbrellas are for photographers. Um, but um, thanks to Epic Light Media, he made a demonstration in one of his uh, light videos and, uh, and did use the umbrella for one of his commercial demonstration, right? Well, uh, the umbrella was from Westcott and it cost 99. I went actually went to buy that one. I went on Amazon. I wanted to get the 99 version of this box and Amazon suggested there is also a cheaper version. And I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. I did try this thing and it's it looks sturdy enough. Um, but um, for me, this is this works just fine and it's I love the way it comes and I'm able to put it together and rock. All right, so that's for this, okay? Let's take this guy off and go back to uh, Aperture 120D. Okay, now that's a, that's a more controlled light. That light is at the right position, so don't get it twisted. When you record on, when you are shooting, you know, on a set like this, well, on your studio like this, um, it's at the right uh, spot, like about uh, 45 degrees to my left here, and about, you know, that high is just perfect to get uh, me standing. Okay, so that's how you do, that's how you uh, light up. Okay, not long like this, so you won't get the best result doing this this close to me. So don't get it twisted. So let, before we go, I promised about the about the tripod. Uh, this is the tripod I was talking about. It's well built. It, as the, it's just as rugged as a C stand. It's 69 bucks for this one. You don't have to get it anyway. But if you are looking to get a, a C stand, if you are looking to get a C stand, they usually cost about 130 bucks. 140 200 plus i will go for a couple of these i bought this one i tried it out and i found that this is awesome this is really good see this and it go it can you know i i why i love this thing more is because uh the legs are like tripod or uh, 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 like um regular tripod right three so it's more steady than the um, C stand. You un unscrew like if you losing it a little bit, it comes down steady. See that? It's coming down gradually. But if you do it, see that? If you do it gently, it comes down real soft. And I have another clip to show you properly you know you, you're supposed to do that without weight though 
you know i just left this on but on its own you don't want to be maybe you are busy doing some of your unpacking um or you're packing up after a shoot you're just losing this stuff alone it comes down itself you go do other stuff and then you put it together when it's done so simple okay that's not it that's no big deal the big deal here is how sturdy this thing is and how cheap you know if you see all the these parts the screws they're rugged they're tough and i don't know why they never made something like this before but i just feel it's a smarter way to go 69 bucks and um, it does the job you can do your um diffusers um uh, reflectors you can mount it on this and it's got uh it's got you could actually mount cameras on this you see right now it's got three quarters and three eighths uh, one quarter thread and three eighths you can switch it up if you like if you if you don't want this one the mouse the mouth is double-sided this mouth so one side is um, one quarter and the other side is three eighths so whichever you want to use keep it up so you can match your gimbals and then use this one to you know uh, project your gimbals for um, you know what I mean for that effect of like a crane shot okay so yeah those are the little things I I got for you today um, the umbrella of course this light we talked about it before and this tripod it's a good combination so thank you guys for watching that's all I came to tell you today uh, epic light media they uh you might want to subscribe to their channel oh they say don't subscribe oh they don't like people to subscribe to their channel but um that's why he told me and i'm still subscribed you know he can't stop you so you might as well go subscribe because you will learn some some cool stuff from from him um yeah so yeah subscribe even though he will try to convince you not to um to his channel and uh I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching and like, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, peace out. Godox VL150. Let's get them done. No!